I'm Sir Tap Tap, and I thought, you know what? Let's tick some people off today. Let's try something a little different. So we're gonna do a political video today. That's weird, huh? Um, I'm a little curious to see how this goes. Um, we're gonna be talking about Twitch, Reddit, and YouTube cracking down on some far-right hate speech stuff. Um, this... I'm not Destiny the streamer exactly. I don't do this kind of crap. I don't know... I don't have some fancy graphics and stuff to show you. I don't... I don't, you know, I'm not a cam boy or anything like that. So consider this more of a podcast. I'm just going to have some relevant articles here that you can read along with me as I'll be talking. We got some Kirby music, so that's always nice. Um, if you don't want to talk here political stuff, feel free to turn off the video. That's obviously what this is. Um, feel free to say what you like in the comments. If you say anything bigoted or anything like that, do expect a permanent ban. As with any of my videos, really, I do read all my comments and any kind of hate speech, you're going to be out on your ass. And that's really what these whole things are about. So today, Twitch, Reddit, and YouTube all crack down on some uh, hate speech related content. This Politico um, headline is a very leading headline, and I knew this would be the fucking case. Oops. I can't say- can you guys- you can't say the F word within the first minute. Oh well. Um, there's no way this video is gonna get monetized anyway. Um, not with YouTube's rules. Anyway, um, so Twitch, Reddit really did most of the work here. Twitch banned, um, here we go. Twitch temporarily banned Donald Trump's account. You might be surprised he even had one. He only made it last October. Uploaded some, you know, videos of his fucking Nuremberg rallies and all that crap. Um, I believe one of the specifically mentioned ones where it was one of his 2016 rallies where he talked about Mexico sending rapists and stuff over to us. Um, not, not exaggerating, by the way. Directly his words. Um, and there was a more recent one. Um, pretty obviously this is a response to his Tulsa rally stuff. Um, to him literally, um, fuck. Do I really want to have this on my channel? I don't. I don't. Uh, Trump recently retweeted, like yesterday recently, um, retweeted some guy going around and screaming white power at uh, Black Lives Matter protesters. And um, he was like, great people, thanks for standing up to me. And then he lied and said, oh, oh, I didn't hear the white power thing. And it's in the first 17 minutes, you can hear the dude sh just fucking screaming white power. No way he missed that. And Trump's been doing a lot of dog whistles lately. He, he went, he wanted, um, he wanted his rally right near uh, Black Wall Street on uh, Juneteenth to, uh, you know, talk about law and order. Um, and, um, yeah, just a lot of fucked up shit. And then there was this. This was pretty blatant. And uh, that's probably a big part of why Twitch did this. Um, I do think there is something interesting. Twitch, YouTube, and Reddit all did this at the same time. Um, it's not specifically banning Trump. It's... Uh, it's all hate speech related stuff though. Um, and I've seen some conspiracy theories on why these all happened at the same time. I have three main theories. So Reddit, basically what happened, Twitch suspended Donald Trump's account temporarily. Twitch has done the least here. Twitch deserves very little credit. Um, I am kind of amused that, you know, this site with a reputation for, you know, gamer bro, edgy garbage, um, banned Trump before, you know, Twitter. But it's just a temporary ban, so I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna support them too much. YouTube, as you can see in this related article here, YouTube banned uh, Richard Spencer, David Duke, and um, Steve Molino, which a decent step, but that's that's three dudes. They're, they're three of the big ones, but like, geez, guys. And YouTube, uh, it, Reddit, Reddit banned over 2,000, around 2,000 subreddits, including the Donald, which was was past tense, the big one, um, and a bunch of other shitty transphobic and other hateful stuff. Um, we'll get specifically to the red stuff later. It's much more convoluted than the other stuff. So I want to give some specific details on that. Um, but the interesting thing is all of this happening on the same day, right? Um, I have three kind of theories about that. Number one, um, I've seen somebody say, oh, they probably like didn't want, you know, every, like say just YouTube did this, right? YouTube banned some, um, some white supremacists from their platform. Then Ted Cruz is up his own ass on, you know, Twitter and saying, oh, I'm not racist, by the way, but but YouTube is, you know, an affront to conservatism by banning neo-Nazis, who I don't agree with, by the way. And, um, you know, shit like that. So if just one service does it, they get all of the crap. Now, 
if a bunch of different ones, then the Republicans are shooting their britches about social media in the general, right? So it's kind of diffused and less focused, right? Um, so the theory was that they kind of coordinated this between themselves to kind of do it all at once. Now, I don't know if I'd buy that. Um, I wouldn't really have a problem with that, honestly. I, I don't see a big problem in saying like, hey, we, we're adjusting our hate speech policies. What are you doing? And you know, that kind of crap. Um, not really sure it happened, but whatever. Uh, conspiracy theory number two, and again, none of these have any real evidence. Um, someone did call this, though. Someone did say that Reddit was going to ban a bunch of shit, and everyone laughed at them, and then it turned out to be true. So that was a real surprise. Um, but number two, and I think this is much more plausible, um, advertisers, probably, especially post-George Floyd, post-Black Lives Matter, you know, the recent Black Lives Matter uh, protests, probably like, hey guys, you got fucking Nazis on your pro platform. My ads are right there. What's what's the deal with this? And I mean, if I were an advertiser, I would be screaming this at these guys for the last five years, right? So I wonder if advertisers just said, all right, enough is enough. Get your shit in order. Get rid of the Nazis. I, I don't want my stuff being near there, right? So I think that is highly possible. Um, conspiracy number three. Um, probably not even conspiracy theory, but... Um, I kind of wonder if, related to number one, what if all three of these platforms had been planning this already, and Reddit has mentioned they were trying to do some hate speech stuff, right? Um, and YouTube did put in new hate speech stuff in late 2009, I believe. 2019. Um, what are decades, anyway? Um, all of them have been trying to crack down on this stuff, right? Especially with Twitch dealing with a lot of uh, popular streamers being accused of sexual harassment and stuff. That's a whole other issue we're not going to get into in this video. That's uh, Destiny. I, I talked about him earlier. Destiny has a really good, um, goes through those allegations and, you know, talks about um, talks about him really thoroughly. And he, I think he did a good job. Uh, in fact, one of the uh, one of the women that, you know, made an allegation, watched his stream and did like a reaction, I guess. And um, she, you could tell she really enjoyed it and that, you know, enjoyed that he, he got what he got the power dynamics at work and stuff. But that again, that's we're not going to be talking about that. That's 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 a whole video and more on its own. And I, I don't really. That's that's a bit too dark for even for me. Um, we're just going to talk about happy things like neo Nazis, right? So, watch Destiny's video if you want to catch up on that. But all of these companies, right? They kind of want to at least look like they're doing something on hate speech, right? So, what if you have a plan? Your YouTube. You got a plan to ban some neo-Nazis, but you don't want to have Ted Cruz bitching on Twitter. So you wait, and then Twitch bans Trump's account, and you're like, oh shit, perfect time. I release, we do our new shit now, we ban them now, and the media attention is divided between us, right? So I think that's probably most likely, I don't know. I, 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 could, say, I could see any of them, or a combination of them even. Um, but again, I don't, I don't care, which is true. I don't think any of those are a bad reason. Uh, I think it's a little cowardly to wait, but, um, you know, when you have, you know, present fat orange cunt here that's trying to, you know, ban Twitter and stuff because they're mean to him. I mean, as a company, it is fairly reasonable to think, hmm, how can we avoid legislation? Which, remember when Republicans didn't want to regulate things? Remember that? Pepperidge Farms remembers. It wasn't that long ago. Suddenly a Republican president is being criticized and now we gotta regulate things. Is there a word? Is there a word when you espouse one belief, but you don't really adhere to it? I wonder, I wonder if that's a thing. Anyway, um, so Twitch didn't really do much. Uh, YouTube did a little bit more, um, way too fucking late. I'm not really too impressed with YouTube, but YouTube banned um, David Duke, who was a former Ku Klux Klan leader and a complete piece of shit, one of the first people to um, promote Donald Trump for president in 2016. Um, white nationalist Richard Spencer, who was a piece of shit. Everyone knows him as the Nazi that got punched. Um, <laughs> which, let's, let's get that. Uh, GIF. Oh, oh, I know even better. Is, is it okay to punch a Nazi? Ah, oh, they lost their domain name. There used to be, there used to be just, is it okay to punch a Nazi.com? 
and it was just a gif of uh, Richard Spencer being punched, and it just said yes. Um, I can't find this gif. Sorry, this is an important gif. This is the lowest quality gif I've ever seen. Here we go. You dragged the URL. Yes. What? God damn it. I'm sorry. I, I'm not used to this kind of- this format of video. That's his fucking Pepe the Frog thing that he's showing off, by the way. He's like, yes, it's Pepe, it's- ah! <laughs> Obviously, Captain America is edited in. I don't know if you knew that. Uh, I thought you- I would let you know, though. Um, but yeah. He's the Nazi that got punched. And Stephen Molyneux, not the Fable guy. Everyone always gets confused. Peter Molyneux is the Fable guy, right? Pe some people don't like him. Stephen Molyneux is a white supremacist on Twitter. He's the guy most famous for talking about, um... Taylor Swift's eggs, because um, if you if you wondered why and thought he was just being a creeper, um, well, number A, he was. Number two, um, uh, a whole thing with neo Nazis is repopulating the white race and all of that shit. So they're they're terrified that you know other races will outbreed them because they're like fucking Pikmin, right? And um, so. They strongly talk about white fertility, and that's why, um, if you remember Gab went no fap, they, they started, um, they banned porn on Gab, you know, noted free speech platform Gab? Yeah, you can't post porn on there anymore. Um, and it's because Nazis don't want you to jack off, because they want you to have white kids. Now, if you're, you know, anything but white, they don't want you to breed at all, of course, they want you to, you know, die in a gas chamber, because, uh, <laughs> you know, they're fucking Nazis. So, um, yeah. You haven't heard about Gab in a long time, have you? Apparently they started a new thing? Um, fuck. Doc Sigma told me about that. Um, hey Doc. What, what, what was it called, Doc? Um, ba 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 ba. Um, parlor. The French word for talk, apparently. But yeah. Um, so there's a new, even Nazier Gab. Which is, I love this Splinter Cell shit. Just Splinter Cell. Uh, I guess this was relevant, but I didn't mean to say that. You know, this whole Splinter Faction shit. Um... <laughs> fuck off. We're the people's front of Judea! Um, but yeah, the thing about Nazis is that you're never pure enough for a Nazi. And if you're a fucking neo-Nazi watching this video, especially if you're not white, you're not Christian, you're not male, or you're an immigrant, I want you to know if your guys win, you're gonna fucking die. <laughs> That's right, Parker. They're gonna fucking kill you, because you know what? Say the Nazis won World War II, right? And they run out of Jews to kill. Well, obviously, they're gonna kill black people. They're gonna kill Irish people. They're gonna kill Middle Eastern people. What happens when they run out of those? What happens when there's only pure white bread people? Well, there's still religions, right? So they kill the non-Christians. They kill, they kill the non-Nazi party members. Then, when they're out of those, they kill the sons of it, they kill immigrants. Obviously, they hate immigrants. So, you were white, but now you're not. And that's the thing, Nazism, white supremacism in general, it's a death cult. You're never pure enough. White supremacy, when white supremacy is out of power, the the envelope of whiteness always expands. Uh, uh, Hispanic people, are gonna be white soon enough. As long as Republicans keep losing power, um, Hispanic people are gonna be white, I guarantee it. The second they're back in power, you stop being white, then you're up against the wall. And that's why, no matter who you are, you're never gonna be white enough. You're never white enough. And it kinda cracks me up because, obviously, I hope not, you know, Nazis never take any place over, but, um, it's not gonna be the paradise you think it is, because they'll find a reason to kill your ass. They'll find a distant relative. They'll find out that you're not a good Christian. They'll find out that you registered as a different political party sometime in the past. Then you're gonna die. So, have fun with that, Nazis. Anyway, a little bit of a tangent. <laughs> That's right, Parker. Like I said, not really used to these kind of videos. Um, I tend to get a little bit rambly, but I thought it would be interesting. This is a hot topic. Um, I wouldn't say that I avoid politics. I just, it's a specific thing. and I don't want to put it where it doesn't necessarily need to be. 
I don't need to talk about, you know, maybe a one-off joke about capitalism or something, but I don't need to, you know, talk about, you know, Donald fucking Trump while we're doing bridge work simulator. Um, but, uh, figured it in its own video, why the hell not? And this is a, this is a hot topic I know something specifically about. You might have noticed, um, I'm pretty passionate about this stuff. Like I said before, I, um, I'm a lot closer than I would like to some neo-Nazi people in my life. I have cut those people out of my life for a while now, but, uh, <laughs> I've always looked on that shit and been like, hmm. So the people YouTube banned, um, these are very obvious wins. This is, I mean, Ted Cruz will still be bitching. I guarantee fucking to you. He probably already has. Um, I'm not going to load up his Twitter because, I mean, he's Ted Cruz. But, oh, hey, let's, let's, Ted Cruz for human president. Please still be up. Yes. Fucking love this. <laughs> So, sorry for all of the tangents, but oh my god. Ted Cruz for human president. 100% human candidate. I have been incubated from birth to be your overlord. I am Ted Cruz for president. I have over 42 years. I wish to shut down the space program and destroy all telescopes abruptly and without an explanation. I once observed a child traversing on wheeled shoes. I will work tirelessly to find out what this technology is called and demand the Earth children turn schematics over to me forthwith. Update. I must return to my house of Texas to slumber for an amount of time you would consider reasonable. <laughs> Thank you. Your support and skull sizes have been documented. Here's what people are saying. Ted Cruz is only one being and not several. I have seen many people and Ted Cruz is one of them. <laughs> Love this. There's one for Bitcoin too, but yeah. So. <laughs> that's that's just a quick refresher on Ted Cruz, who is one being and not several. Um, but yeah, I'm sure Ted Cruz is probably already complaining about this. But these guys, if anybody could be called a neo-Nazi, these fuckers are neo-Nazis, right? They like to use... Um, Richard Spencer even said he only doesn't call himself a Nazi because of a branding issue, right? Uh, not making this up, by the way. Go ahead and look it up. In fact, I'll, fucking, I'll look it up for you. you, you lazy. Spencer Nazi branding. Let me see if I can bring this up. Uh, all right, branding war. <laughs> I love when these idiots fight each other. Um, fuck. I can't find the exact article, but I there was a thing where he they ask if he considers himself a Nazi. And he said we don't use that term. And it's just, he's like he doesn't deny it at all, but he's like you know we we like to call it the alt right. But yeah, also fucking I fucking hate this shit. White nationalist activist. <laughs> we used to call these fucking neo-Nazis. Which honestly, even neo-Nazi is a politically correct term, right? What's neo about it? Other than Hitler blowing his fucking brains out. It's the same shit. It's the same fucking shit. There's nothing neo about it. At least neocons are a little different and shittier. <laughs> but uh, neo-Nazis is just... <laughs> they just don't care that de de dear Fuhrer fucking offed himself. Whatever. Um, but I hate I hate that we let the white nationalists become a thing. They're just white supremacists. It's, it's that fucking easy. Just call them what they are. But yeah, these are very... Um, these are a very egregious... Uh, it, yeah, egregiously violated YouTube's content policy. Which again, these people should have banned years ago. If anyone... If anyone in... Popular politics could be they're not even popular, but if anyone Visible in politics at any level could be considered white supremacists and just blatantly neo-nazi get them the fuck out of here It's these cunts. Why were they here? I'm gonna swear in this video. This is probably pretty obvious I, I'm, I'm, I'm literally talking about white supremacists. How am I not supposed to swear? Um, so these guys are gone and it, it's a good thing but Jesus Anyway, um, one thing I do want to point out, deep platforming does work. Um, there was a study, there was a study on Reddit. Fat people hate. It was on, yeah, fat people hate was the subreddit. Um, study finds Reddit's controversial ban of its most toxic, toxic subreddits actually worked. 2017, by the way. 
And it took him this long to ban TD. Um, but yes, post ban hate speech by the same users re reduced by as much as 80 to 90 percent. Members of the ban communities left right at significantly higher rates of control groups. Migration was common. However, hate speech did not reliably increase in the migrated things. Um, there's always, you know, refugees going to other subreddits, and uh, a lot of times subreddits lock themselves down. So if you don't know how Reddit works, um, a subreddit is like a forum. And Reddit tends to play whack-a-mole with the most hateful ones, and then they kind of move around to different ones. And um, what then happens though is if the if they infest a new Reddit and it gets really shitty, then it gets banned too. And then keep in mind, every time that one gets banned, you're gonna have an effect kind of like this. They just get spread thinner and thinner and thinner. And here's the thing that I fucking hate when discussing you know social policies and stuff. It's not about making sure no one ever is racist, right? You're never gonna completely block out racism. You're never gonna completely destroy this stuff. But the thing is, deplatforming fucking works. And the whole thing is people want less harm. People want less harm, right? With this whole Black Lives Matter thing, I know that cops are gonna kill black people. It sucks. And you know what? Sometimes it's probably not even racism, it's just cops knowing they'll get away with murder. Literally. Or sometimes it probably is genuinely an accident. But you know what? I don't expect cops to never kill someone on accident or on purpose. I want them to go to fucking prison. That's all I want. I just want cops who kill people to be treated as murderers. I don't think that's a controversial opinion. I don't think that's a big ask. But right now it's very difficult. And I think if a cop killing somebody was treated in the same way that me killing somebody would be treated, there would be a lot less dead black people for some reason. I don't know why. I just have a hunch. I just have a fucking hunch. And again, stuff like this, this is just words on a website, right? Well, Facebook radicalization. Well, uh, let me find. Fuck, there was a good news article on this Facebook ads. might be a good article on it, I don't know. It's from CNN, so maybe not, but... <laughs> I hate to bitch about CNN because the 50% of the people that agree with you that CNN sucks think it's because they're not right-wing enough, right? Um, fuck. I, I, I can't find it on short notice. But there was an article about recently, very recently, about Facebook groups. Radicalization. Uh, it was just recently, too. But yeah, I can't find it. But yeah, Facebook, um... Oh, here, here's an example. Facebook groups created to protest lockdowns are hotbeds for misinformation. Big surprise. Who are these people staring at me? Creepy. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Just Facebook groups are the new, you know, radicalization method. And it fucking sucks. But you shut down these echo chambers, and people get a lot less hateful. Just like, um... Like we see here, hate speech by the same user reduced as 90 to 80 percent. That's, you know, it's a good thing. Um, now you might think hate speech is just fine, and like, A, why are you on my channel? And B, like, this isn't even a free speech issue, by the way. Let me get that out of the way. A little bit late into the video, but freedom of speech in the United States, um, First Amendment stuff, that applies to the government, right? Um, Reddit can say whatever the fuck it wants for its own platform. Is in fact, actually, if the government told Reddit that they had to harbor white supremacists, that would actually be a violation of Reddit's First Amendment rights. You can't force people's speech. Forced speech is very easily considered a violation of the First Amendment. So as a co corporation, Reddit can allow or disallow paid speech and stuff like this. Now, so I'm not saying they necessarily have to do this, but obviously, you know, <laughs> I hate Nazis and shit, so I think it is a good thing that they remove it. And like I said, I suspect their advertisers pressured them. And personally, I'm not too woke mob in the terms of like, corporations are never an ally, bro. 
I mean, I get this sentiment, but personally, I'm not gonna bitch about a free win. If a huge corporation with huge public reach, a lot of money, wants to support, like, helping people, I'm okay with that. And you know what? If it leads to increase in their sales, because they did a good thing, good? What's the problem here? I never, I never ascribed to the idea that you shouldn't get, I've been told this many times, like, oh, you shouldn't do good things expecting good things to happen. It's like, well, no, I don't do good things because I want good things to happen, but you fucking should be rewarded for doing good things, right? That's the whole goddamn concept of karma, right? That's the whole concept of most religions, right? Is that there's some kind of reward for not being a piece of shit. I think you should get good things in response. And I, my whole concept of altruism, um, if you do good things just to get rewarded, if you did the good things, I, I don't really give a shit. Because here's the thing about altruism, you can't not get good things by doing good things, right? If I, com in complete secret, donate a huge amount of money anonymously to a good cause and no one ever knows that it was me, I still know that it was me. I still get the endorphins released. And I can't turn that off. You can't not benefit, right? Even if it's just that feeling of I did a good thing today, you're always getting some kind of benefit out of doing a good thing. I think that's fine. If if it takes, if that's what it takes, whatever, dude. As long as you're doing good things, I'm not gonna bitch too much. I'm not gonna say you're the most amazing person in the world. I'm not gonna say, you know, corporations are the best allies by any means, but when they're on the right side of an issue, I'm not gonna shoot them down. Especially because, you know, corporations do have way too much influence on people. It, it kinda sucks, but like I said, I'm gonna, I'll take the free win. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stop people with a shit ton more money than me uh, advancing causes in ways that I personally, unfortunately, could not do. So that's why I'm okay with um, like Sony's pride stuff. They always get bitched at, and I think Sony does a pretty good job. Um, obviously, not perfect. They're a company. Um, honestly, it's kind of, isn't it a good thing that when Okay, I don't like companies, right? But companies, obviously, have too much influence and stuff. And suddenly, they, they're gonna get a profit by supporting my thing, right? That means that my thing is popular. So even the most cynical, hateful way, it's still a positive thing, right? Anyway. So honestly, that, that's kind of why I'm reluctant. I'm not gonna completely shit on YouTube, but I'm not gonna give them, you know, treats either, right? I want David Duke gone. He's gone. What the fuck is this? <laughs> I'm sorry. There's lyrics in my Kirby. I, I don't approve of that. Um, that must be a remix or something. Uh, sorry about that. Um, completely lost my train of thought. But yeah, I, I this is definitely um, a cynical move from Reddit, Twitch, and YouTube. They're definitely trying to improve their outlook and stuff. But again, they should be. They should be doing the good thing. The biggest, my biggest problem with this is they should have done this a long goddamn time ago. Now, <laughs> I meant to cover this so much earlier, but let's talk about Reddit. Reddit did the most stuff, right? And again, I'm, I'm not Destiny. I'm not used to doing this kind of stuff. I do have a tendency to ramble. Hopefully you found it informative and interesting. Uh, hopefully I don't get too many hate, you know, hateful comments and stuff. Which again, I will ban your ass. Don't, don't worry, <laughs> don't worry. Um, Reddit did the most, which what a fucking statement. That's so weird. I hate Spence, by the way. I, I, I haven't upvoted, I haven't upvoted the post because it's like, ah, oh, I want to upvote the new hate speech policies are actually pretty good, but, but it's Spence and it's like, ah, <laughs> but yeah, basically, Explicitly, rule one explicitly states that communities that provide, that promote hate based on identity or vulnerability will be banned. So, hate speech in the specific sense is banned on Reddit. This is something that people have been calling for pretty much since Fat People Hate was banned. Um, the thing about these subreddits, you think it's just people going, oh, I don't like black people. Actually, 
it's still pretty bad. I'm, I'm trying to think of quote unquote innocuous hate speech. It's like, that's not really a thing, is it? Um, but you think it might be mild. Um, a lot of these communities would, um, they would dox people. They would talk about murdering people who disagree with them. Um, back in 2016, 17, they would often be talking about driving their car into protesters. Do you remember something that happened in a little town, how was it called? Charlottesville in uh, 2017? There was uh, some very fine people and one of those very fine people murdered a woman because he was a fucking Nazi. And even Republican politicians were talking about legalizing, taking cars and running them into protesters. I'm not making this up. Um, let, me, let me find some uh, pub and legalize running over protesters. You think I'm making this up? Boom. Please don't, please don't, uh, <laughs> don't paywall me. This is, a, I'm doing a video here. Um, yeah. The Republicans want to legalize running over protesters. There's a lot of them. First bill was introduced in North Dakota. Similar bills have been under consideration in North Carolina, Tennessee, Florida, Texas, and Rhode Island. Um, generally, yeah, they want to, you know, make it legal to, uh, run people over. And lots of right-wing websites have been talking about this. Lots of, um, shitty Discord, uh, stuff. And Charlottesville, the whole thing was coordinated in Discord, by the way. I'm pretty <laughs> unhappy with how Discord has been handling this whole stuff. They did finally ban, um, Boogaloos. Oops. Uh, Discord ban Boogaloo. Those are, like, Neo... Here we go. Neo-Confederate cunt rags. Um, it's gonna be a rough language video. I, I, you've probably noticed that. But um, I don't like traitors. <sighs> but yeah, uh, they shut down the biggest Boogaloo and Boogaloo is racist love code words, right? So Boogaloo is a reference to uh, a second world war, a race war, really, uh, arguably. The first one was too, but um, they want, um, you know, anti-government extremists to kill people, and they uh, really hope that uh, if Donald Trump loses in the election, which God fucking willing, um, they're gonna be able to go out and, you know, kill liberals and stuff. And uh, fortunately, Discord shut them down. And again, this- shit like this, um, <laughs> shit like this is why hate speech is not just- it's not just words. These people actually want to kill people, and a lot of them do. A lot of them successfully kill people. Um, a lot of them get caught by the FBI, fortunately. Which is why I've never been on the whole disband the CIA thing. Like, every country has a goddamn uh, intelligence agency. You can't really not have that. The CIA obviously has its problems. Um, you can't just throw the baby out with the bathwater. You can't just ignore Russia, right? Speaking of, shoutouts to Russia for paying the Taliban to kill our troops. And then Donald Trump tried to get them back into the G7. Again, not making that up. <sighs> that was just this fucking week. What a fucking week. Man. <sighs> Good news is the polls. The polls have been great lately. I'm so glad for that. Anyway, back to this whole Reddit thing. <laughs> this is supposed to be the crux of the whole video, and I've been kind of getting distracted. So let's take a look at some of the Reddits that got banned. Love subreddit drama, by the way. Um... So, if you want to get the whole rundown, you can go here. Um, here's some of the banned subreddits. So, the Donald, I knew when, I knew whenever the Donald got banned, every fucking news network would go, Oh, Reddit just banned its biggest Donald Trump fan club. Oh my gosh. And what actually happened is the Donald was a fucking cesspool of hate speech. Um, they got quarantined because they were calling for, um, for cops to be killed, ironically enough. Um, there were cops protecting, um, or there were cops hunting down, uh, not literally, <laughs> I suppose. I suppose I have to specify that, don't I? <sighs> but, um, I forget which fucking state it was, but the legislator, the, um, the Republican legislators ran away because they were trying to do, um, I don't even remember what policy it was. 
But they, instead of wanting to vote on a thing, they literally ran away from the capital, and police were dispatched to bring their asses back because they didn't want to do their jobs because they're pissy little bitches. And um, the Donald was posting, wishing for the death of those police officers. The crimes those police officers committed? Did they kill innocent black people? No. They were trying to get some state legislators to do their job. Which, obviously, <laughs> Republicans hate, you know, they're not the party of personal responsibility or anything. They don't care about, you know, they're supportive of corrupt politicians, right? <sighs> so yeah, that was when, that was the first time the Donald got quarantined. They, they very regularly call for hate. They, um, they were lots of boogaloo boys and shit. Um, they would openly talk about, they fucking loved hating on Hillary Clinton, right? They would call for the death of pretty much anyone. They would talk about the day of the rope, which... Obviously, reference to lynching and just, you know, it's a, a supposed day of running around and killing all of the Democrats in your neighborhood. Um, lots of Q people love that. Um, so yeah, the Donald, a shit place, and it was not banned because, <laughs> because it was a Donald Trump fan club. That's like saying, um, that's like calling neo-Nazis, like, history lovers. A group of history lovers was, was you know, removed from the premises. What, what, what history are they like? Oh, Hitler. So, <laughs> I knew it would happen, though. Um, Chapo Trap House was banned, which you might notice, pretty much the only left-wing one. I called it, though. Um, Chapo, Chapo was a shit Reddit, I will say. I'll get some hate for that. Um, they were not, <laughs> they don't belong on this list. Like, they banned like 2,000 subreddits. Um, Chapo was like the only left-wing one. Um, but Chapo, the reason Chapo got banned, um, I, I can guarantee is because they wanted to show that they're banning both sides, right? <laughs> Which is funny because you look at the rest of the list and it's all obviously right-wing stuff and neo-Nazi stuff. Um, Chapo could be very shitty though. Um, recently, since the end of the primary, they have been, well technically it's not over yet, but, um, they got very acceleration-y, um, they loved talking about Stalin and denying Holodomer and stuff like that. Um, they, n they never met a communist um, genocide that they didn't like. Um, Uthers, they love that. Um, you know, Soviet famines, love that. It's uh, really gross shit. And it, it's so... I hate tankies. I fucking hate tankies. Almost as much as the Nazis. They're not as bad, but they're the kind of people that make horseshoe theory look accurate. Um, and it sucks for those people to kind of agree with you on some points. And, uh, ugh. But yeah, Chapo was bad. Chapo was not remotely as bad as any of the other ones. But I would say, and Chapo liked to brigade. Um, they, especially in the primary, Chapo got really bad during the primaries. If you haven't been there since the primary, it might be a real surprise to see them banned. But, um, they would regularly brigade. Um, especially the, um, Pete Buttigieg, uh, subreddit. They loved brigading there. They brigade, um, enough Sanders spam, ironically enough. Um, they just, they would organize raids. Uh, uh this, uh, brigade is basically, it's like a raid, but on Reddit, right? It's a bunch of people from one subreddit rushing into another one, downvoting, putting hateful comments, all that kind of stuff. And, um, it's against Discord Terms of Service. And Chapo did that constantly. Uh, they should have been banned, honestly, just for that. So, I don't mind Chapo being banned. They don't belong on this list of things. But I, I, I kind of knew they would ban that as kind of the sacrificial lamb, so whatever. Um, there wasn't much value left in Chapo Trap House anyway. In fact, the fucking, the actual Chapo Trap House podcast was celebrating the Reddit ban on uh, on Twitter. The, the Reddit community was always a bit different from the uh, subreddit, but they... The actual podcast. Now we get into the juicy stuff. Gender critical was a bunch of fucking turfs. Um, it's one of those um, turfs have this knack for sounding erudite and sounding like they're talking about women's issues, right? Which is why you know turf means trans exclusionary radical feminist. Which I don't really like that label because they're not really very feminist. Most of them just hate trans people, like um, Graham Neelim, whatever his fucking name is, office. Um, IT IT crew guy? Whatever. British comedy man fucking who hates trans people. Um, he was banned from Twitter like 
last week. Which again, lots of stuff happening. Finally. Uh, but yeah, gender critical was awful. They, they hate trans people. And the thing about the trans hate, well, one of the things about trans hate, so trans people are around 1% of people. Even if you really hate them, just really hate that, how could you dedicate so goddamn much attention to it? G Graham fucking was on Twitter every goddamn day bitching about it. Constantly, just completely so consumed with hate for 1% of the population that does not have any kind of systemic power um, in no kind of... They couldn't hurt him. He, never in his life has he been meaningfully harmed by a trans person. He may not have ever even met one in person. Um, he's just an asshole. And let me tell you, obviously, I hate Trump supporters, I hate neo-Nazis. If Trump supporters were 1% of the population, I'd never fucking bother talking about them. I would never give a shit. I would still hate them. But they would not be worthy of reference. And that's kind of what I think about Chapo and the tankies. Um, they just don't seem to be a valid enough size to care about. I doubt more than 1% of America is tanky. I don't care. Even if trans people were bad, which obviously they're not, trans people were very valid and cute. But even if you really hated them, dedicating your whole life to it, to hating it, is so fucked up and stupid. But yeah, gender critical and rest in piss, they were assholes. And it sounds so erudite, doesn't it? I was getting at that. Turfs love using fancy words and cloaking their argument and like, okay, we're just critical of this co social concept of gender. And that seems very reasonable, right? It seems reasonable to be like, hmm, you know, it is just a social construct. So is it even, should we even talk about it? Hmm, stroke my beard. But really all they were doing is say, you know, just hateful stuff about trans people. They, there was no real academic shit. They just hate people. That's all it was. Um, consume product might seem weird. That's that. Um, crap. I, I don't. I don't watch a lot of YouTubers. I don't remember the person. But uh, don't ask questions. Just consume product and wait for next product. Um, that was a phrase appropriated by the alt right um, to kind of. They're showing that capitalism is left wing. Basically, I'm not making this up. They're talking about how basically the Jews and the trans people are making um, using capitalism to make the frogs gay, more or less. It sounds ridiculous, but yes. Um, some neo-Nazis are anti-capitalist, by the way. It seems strange, but um, yeah, some, and some incels are actually pro-social programs because they literally want free stuff. They're, they're, they're actually the thing that people make fun of Sanders supporters for. I don't even like Sanders supporters. <laughs> um, they, they are unironically just want free stuff. And you know, that's from a right wing perspective. So yeah, consume product was garbage. Glad to see it gone. Clerical fascism, I've never heard of, but I mean, fascism isn't the title. It's not, it's not hard to guess what that shit was. Um, Smuggies was like, it was coaxed into a snafu for neo-Nazis, basically. It was shittily drawn political cartoons. Um, they loved that big nose, um, that really offensive Jew imagery um, thing. You know, the guy with the big nose and the yarmulke and all that shit. You, I'm sure you've seen it, it's disgusting. Um, they loved doing stuff like that and just, you know, talking about how George Soros is, um, you know, paying for the world. Thanks to George Soros for sponsoring this video, by the way. 2,000 Soros bucks. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, debate alt-right. What else is there to say? These de a lot of these debate subs on Reddit. It sounds innocuous, right? Just, it's trying to get, you know, a conversation going. Well, really, there would usually be like, Mr. Burns, your, <laughs> your election seems to have the momentum of a running freight train. Why are you so popular? It was a lot of staged comments about, hmm, I'm a liberal and I hate Obama. Give me information about Obama. And then like, yes, I have that. Um, it was, it was gross. It was just a bunch of, it was just a circle jerk sub. I mean, all of these are. All, all of these, another thing about all of these subs, these people bitch about freedom of speech and shit. Say anything left wing in almost any of these subs, you would either get banned, you get hundreds of comments insulting you. Um, pictures of dicks and violence and spoilers in your um, DMs. Which, by the way, that's why um, you might notice I always have tons of messages, unread messages on Reddit. I participate in social, in um, political subreddits, so I I don't read that shit. I know what's in there, and it's it's bad. 
Um, I don't want it. So don't try to contact me on Reddit. Um, but yeah, a, a lot of the, these are the, some of the most pro censorship subreddits ever. In fact, the Donald tried to move over to vote. Um, vote is Reddit for neo-Nazis. And they were too dedicated. They actually care about free speech on vote, right? Um, and they noticed the Donald kept banning people and on vote, you're only supposed to ban people if it's illegal, like child porn, um, like verifiable threats of violence that could get the server shut down. If a post won't get them banned, like shut down by the FBI, you're not supposed to ban them. Um, so the Donald got fucking laughed out of vote because the neo-Nazis were too hardcore for them, <laughs> which really cracks me up. Um, as much as I hate neo-Nazis, I love watching them fucking hit each other with foam bats because they don't agree on what brand of Nazism they want. <sighs> um, Bruh Funny was just... A lot of these are just dark humor subreddits, quote-unquote, that are just like, haha, black people should die. And it's like, oh, that's the joke, huh? <laughs> There's nothing more to it than that. Bruh Funny, I didn't use too much, but I did see it on against hate subreddits on occasion. Shit neocons say sounds like a, a left-wing subreddit, right? Wrong. Um, Neo-Nazis actually hate neocons. Um, that's why sometimes right-wingers hate PragerU, because Dennis Prager, well, he's Jewish, so he's a neocon, he's not a neo-Nazi, because <laughs> you know what neo-Nazis do to Jewish people. Um, so they don't like them. Nazis are anti-interventionist. Um, they want to keep everything, they're isolationists actually, not just anti, they're isolationists, not just anti-interventionists. They want to keep everything to their one nation. They want to say fuck off to everyone else because all of the other countries are full of, you know, Mongol hordes and, you know, just lesser races and whatever stupid shit is in their shitty brains. Um, so they don't like neocons because neocons want to intervene and stuff and they're not racist enough for them. Neocons, like Dennis Prager, like I've said in the Prager U streams, they, those videos, they try very hard to whitewash things, no pun intended, and make things very presentable to an audience. They want to keep things not too racist and stuff, right? Neo-Nazis, they want to drop red pills. They want to say Nazi shit and, you know, just really get the offensive stuff out there and weed out the weak people. They really want to hit people hard with racist statistics and made up garbage, right? So they hate neo -cons. Um There's a similar subreddit for, um, for far left people called shit liberals say, um, which again, far left people don't like, you know, medium left people. Uh, pretty common across all political strata, right? Um, our soy boys, if you know what that weird means, you're not surprised there. Soy was apparently so overused that even uh, 4chan banned its use. I forget what they changed it to. They changed it to some other food, but yeah. Um, soy, this actual conspiracy, it's not just that, you know, oh, haha, liberals consume soy. Um, there's actually a conspiracy theory that soy has like, femaleization hormones, which, um, it has basically, I, I, if I, I could be saying this wrong, but I think it basically has plant estrogen, which does not work in humans, so it doesn't, it doesn't feminize you. Um, the funny thing is milk, which neo-Nazis brag about drinking milk, um, milk does have, you know, animal estrogen that does affect the human body. <laughs> um, and neo-Nazis actually brag about drinking milk. Um, a, because milk is white, it's a good dog whistle, and also, um, white people just tend to have a higher tolerance for milk. In some cultures where milk isn't as much of a thing, um, probably, I'm assuming India, because, actually, does India drink milk? I know they don't eat beef, of course, definitely, but, um, I assume not milk? That would be weird, right? I don't actually know. But cultures that don't drink milk, I mean, have you ever eaten, you know, exotic food that you've never eaten before. You you might have some stomach upset, right? Um, a lot of different foods you just get used to at an early age. And so some cultures don't handle milk well. So a point of, you know, bragging for neo-Nazis is, haha, we can drink milk because we're white. It's <laughs> juvenile as shit, but that's Nazis for you. Um, I'm going to hell for this too. Again, that's just an edgy um, humor sub, which those always unfortunately get taken over by Nazis. You, anybody that's like ironically racist and stuff, it ends up getting taken over by real racists. Um, that unfortunately happened really bad to 4chan. F in the chat. Wow, I'm gonna go an hour talking about this shit. I, I thought this would just be a quickie. I will be very interested to see what people think about this video. I was not expecting to rant this long, but um, Kinda of feels good to get it out there. 
It's interesting. Um, anyway. Um, alt-rate Christian, that was a fucking shithole of a sub. Um, if you want to hear people talk about why Hitler would, um, why Jesus, <laughs> different, different from Hitler, but if you want to hear a bunch of people talk about why Jesus is a lib cuck and why we need to, you know, kill Jews from a religious standpoint, there you go. Well, actually, there you don't go, because they got fucking bans. Um, awful, awful subreddit. Absolutely full of hate for, uh, for LGBT people, too. Um, the Honk Pill is one of the most pathetic subreddits here. Um, this is, this is gonna sound fake, but, um, there was a thing called Friend World, and it was basically neo-Nazis, um, pretending to be incontinent little children that make poopies in their pants, and they would talk about how their friend, um, baked six cookies, but his oven could only fit one cookie, and it's, it's, it's a very blatant dog whistle for a conspiracy theory that the Nazis couldn't have possibly killed that many people, which is very easily disproven by a lot of things, including pictures of the actual mass graves. And uh, you know what's kind of grimly amusing is that Nazis, um, they pretend, <laughs> there's this concept in neo-Nazism that the Holocaust wasn't real, but it should have been, right? They say, there's no way Nazis did all that stuff because they want to soften you up to Nazis. They want you to think Nazis got a bad rap. But they also want to do what the Nazis did. So there's a conspiracy theory that it wasn't possible to kill that many people. Which it absolutely was. Look up any fucking war in history. Um, it's also kind of funny because their whole thing is, oh, the Nazis were so efficient and stuff. But they weren't efficient enough to kill people. Which, unfortunately, we know they were. But anyway, um, anyway, uh, they were they would hide these dog whistles in baby talk and shit, and then they would hide these dog whistles in clown stuff. And there was this thing called Clown World and the Honk Pill. It's a take on the Red Pill, and I can't believe Friend World was banned a long time ago. I can't believe the Honk Pill lasted this long. Top not shit posting. I don't know what that was. I'm gonna assume that was another edgy humor sub. A lot of these see dark humor and memes again. A lot of these people take over the stuff because if the rules are, you know, you can post whatever you want, you can post offensive stuff, then people who actually genuinely believe offensive stuff are going to post there because haha, it's just ironic, right guys? The new right is, um, that's just all right shit, basically. Right wing LGBT, I see a lot of people bitching that this one got banned. Um, that was basically gender critical, but with some LARPing. Um, there's a lot of like, hey, I'm a gay guy and I think us filthy, disgusting gay Jews shouldn't have rights. It's just a bunch of people, it's just a bunch of fucking online Republicans pretending to be gay people. And a bunch of, I mean, some gay people, you know, if you're gay, you don't necessarily care about bi people. If you're trans, you don't necessarily care about gay people, right? Um, you should, you should have some fucking camaraderie, but not everyone does. So some people genuinely are right-wing LGBTers. They, uh, fucking... Um, the Jenners, um, is it Kylie? Fuck. Which Jenner? <laughs> Which Jenner am I thinking of? That's the, um, Jenner family. Who am I thinking of? No, Kylie. Caitlyn. Caitlyn. God. Uh, Kylie Jenner is not who I'm thinking of. Um, Caitlyn Jenner was pretty supportive of Trump. I do believe she has learned, um, but not a good ally. Let's just, let's just say that. Um, so there are some genuinely right-wing LGBT people, um, but a lot of it was very clear LARPing and a lot of it was explicitly anti-trans. A lot of it was like, hey, I'm gay and I still think those trans people are degenerate and that kind of shit. Um, it's just, so fucking disgusting, so. Glad to see that one gone. It was a bunch of bullshit. White Beauty, obviously neo-Nazi sub. Um, a lot of these guys try to, you know, focus on, you know, oh, it's just, what's wrong with white pride? It's, fuck you. Uh, third position, that's literally a neo-Nazi thing. I hate people talking about like, um, if you hear people talking about, we're not left or right, we're the third way. Um, third way, that's a, it's, it's a Nazi slogan, literally. Original Nazis, not even neo-Nazis, like, the actual Nazis back in fucking 1933 were talking about being the third way. So, anytime you hear that shit, anytime you hear a third way, very suspicious of that. 
Um, our Smuggies. Oh, they listed that twice. Uh, we was Kang's very offensive meme. Uh, you'll see that on fucking YouTube a lot. Uh, I don't even remember the source of that, but it's just making fun of the way some black people talk. It's just some dumb Nazi shit. Um, full band list. I think this is. I think this is censored after the top ten. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to hell for this again. Was another edgy, you know, just edgy joke thing. Dark joke central again. Same thing. Calm Town was banned. That was. I think that's a Chapo adjacent thing. It was probably just banned for being like Chapo. I don't know anything about Calm Town. Poor Wojak. I feel sorry for Wojak and Pepe. I can't really see them without thinking of Nazis anymore. It really sucks that neo-Nazis love appropriating symbols. They did that with the OK sign. Because they, they intentionally do that too. They take symbols that are innocuous and they make them non-innocuous because then you seem crazy when you call it out, right? And you may misfire, you may, and that's another reason they do that, by the way. Because people use the OK sign to not mean Nazi shit, and now you've associated with Nazi shit, and you accidentally call out the wrong person, now you look crazy. And that's that's a deliberate tactic. Um, so yeah. If, hopefully, if you were confused about the issue, hopefully this fucking hour-long ass video didn't mean to make it that long. Hopefully that kind of clears some things up. Um, that's... That was a lot. I will say that was a lot. I didn't mean to go on that long. I can definitely see how Destiny goes this goddamn long. It's a lot of stuff to talk about. Um, I'm really interested to see what people think of this video. Um, I'm sure I'll get some bullshit in the comments. I'm sure I'll get... <laughs> the fun thing is I'm sure I'll get some hate for the Chapo thing too. I'm sure some some tanky people will say no. You, you, you neo-lib. Fucking um, Noam Chomsky is a neo-liberal now. Did you know that? That, that's what made me realize, oh, words words don't mean things for some people anymore. Neoliberal is just something that a left-wing person calls anyone to the right, unfortunately. Some very far left-wing people, obviously, I would consider myself- I don't give a shit about labels, but apparently giving a shit about people's human rights makes me a left-winger, so I'm apparently a left-winger now. I don't really give a shit about labels. Um, I still- I don't think my political beliefs have changed all that much. I would say the the biggest political belief change that I've had in my life is I used to think that Republicans had some redeeming features and had some human decency, and I was obviously extremely wrong, and I'm sorry I ever thought that. I wish they did! I always thought... <laughs> I always thought, as a, as a high school kid at least, that, that Republicans would shift towards the libertarian side, they would give up all of this right-wing social crap, and they would focus on economic stuff. Exactly the opposite happened, so that's fucking great. <sighs> and the funny thing is, they're gonna pivot. As soon as Donald Trump loses, they're gonna pivot and try to say, oh, we didn't like him, haha. -ha. Please ignore the, the hundreds of times that the Republican Senate protected Donald Trump from his, you know, countless crimes and supported his most insane bullshit. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for Mitt Romney's bullshit pretending that he's the savior the fucking Republican race. Don't fall for Lindsey Graham and his bullshit. Don't fall for Chuck Grassley. <sighs> They're all just assholes. I don't even like even McMillan. I think he's... Anyone that still wears the badge of Republicanism with how bad Trump is and how... Every, if, if Trump wasn't liked by Republicans, fine. If he was just a rogue president doing what he wanted and Republicans were like, hey, fucking stop it. I would be like, okay. You guys have a soul. I'll admit it. But they don't. They just, they don't stop him at all. They don't care. They want this. They want this shit. They love it. They don't like that they catch flack for it. But they obviously like it because they keep going with him. His approval rating among Republicans is still very high. Obviously his report with independence, fortunately, is tanked. But we're coming right up on one hour here. This is not supposed to be this long. Do not expect many more of these videos. I, this was a random one-off thing. I'm feeling very political today, I guess. Um, a good day for, you know, destroying racists, I guess. Or at least destroying their spaces, which honestly removing, like I said, removing radicalization sectors like this, it really does reduce the amount of actual people out there getting worked up because in real life, most of these people don't have people radicalizing them. Um, 
if they spend enough time in these spaces, maybe they will go out. Maybe they will go and join, you know, a local neo-Nazi chapter. Uh, maybe they will join with Boogaloo Boys. Um, but a lot of this stuff is just online. And once you cut them off, they don't know where to go. And this, that's the funny thing about this Boogaloo shit. They, they did everything so secretly. Um, when they, they started up, they did start up a subreddit for refugees and it got banned, like, almost immediately. Which, for a change, I will say Reddit did catch that one pretty quick. But they probably only did that because, you know, it was big in the news. That's my biggest complaint about Reddit stuff. They, they wait until shit hits the news and it's always way too late. Um, I hope their new policy actually works. I hope they actually enforce it. Like I said, I do think Reddit did more than the other companies mentioned. Twitch just banned, temporarily banned Donald Trump on a platform he barely even uses. Um, I don't think it's a big deal. Um, YouTube banned some people that should have been banned years ago. Years ago. Um, glad to see they're, you know, actually enforcing it, but Jesus Christ, guys, it's so late. Um, but yeah, I hope... I hope we get a lot more of this. I hope we get more companies saying, you know what? This is bullshit. You want to post your Nazi shit? You know what? Get on Gab. And that's a funny thing. A lot of people, these people are like, oh, if Reddit bans us, we're going to go to vote. We're going to go to Gab if they ban us from Twitter. Good. Get the fuck off. Go to your stupid fucking neo-Nazi holes. No normal people go there. If neo-Nazis, this is the reason neo-Nazis love Reddit. I should have mentioned this earlier. The reason they love Reddit is because they can get normies, as they call them. They can find normal people and expose them to this horrible, hateful shit. They can expose them to all these conspiracy theories and stuff. If it's on a site that only Nazis go to, they don't get more members. They can jack each other off all they want, but they're not going to grow. And that's the goal. And they can have gap. I don't really give too much of a fucking shit about that. Uh, it's just a bunch of dumbasses jerking each other off about hating Jews. It's fucking pathetic. And they can have it. They can have vote. Vote doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's just a bunch of idiots. Um, I am, you know, I'm, I would definitely not say I'm a free speech absolutist by any means. Um, which by the way, free speech has always had exceptions, even in America. Um, otherwise you couldn't be arrested for a threat, right? A threat is speech, but it's still illegal to threaten somebody. Um, when speech causes harm, when speech, you know, that's when it becomes illegal. So I've never thought that you can say absolutely anything. I can't say I'm going to kill my neighbor at specific time and place. That's a threat. And you'll get arrested for that. And you'll all, you've always been able to get arrested for that. Um, you know, treason and insurrection and stuff. People used to get tarred and feather for stuff that was, you know, speech. But, uh, I do, I do think people have a right to say even hateful shit. The thing is, they don't have a right to say it on Reddit. Not if Reddit doesn't want them to, which Reddit shouldn't and no longer does. Um, big companies should not allow that. And if it pushes them onto fringe websites where only neo-Nazis go to, good, fuck them. They can have their own shitty, you know, they can piss in their own sandbox. Just don't piss in the big sandbox where, you know, normal people go in. I. It's fine. It's fine for them to have their own stupid crap. They'll probably get pissed at each other. Gab, Gab is full of, you know, like I said, they have a splinter for Gab now, too. Um, a lot of Gab people get mad at each other. Um, a lot of people on Gab are like, you guys, are, you guys aren't real Nazis. And I'm not making this up. Search. There's, um, let's see. Uh, Gab. Infighting. There's, there's an article. I don't remember what that. Yeah, here we go. Conspiracy theories are eating this alt-right front of the site from the inside. That's the problem when you're a stupid fucking Nazi, right? Um, the funny thing, th um, they're talking about fake Nazis. They're, they think that there are leftists like invading their space and posting Nazis. Because why would there be Nazis on a Nazi-friendly website? Obviously, George Soros is involved. Thanks for the Soros bucks, by the way. Um, over an hour of this. Fascinated to see what those comments are. Like I said, let me know what you think. I, I don't think I will regularly analyze political situations, but this one was kind of close to my heart. I've always... I hate neo-Nazis, obviously. Um, but 
It's always been something that I know a lot more about than a lot of people around me. And um, I'm always a little bit... <laughs> I'm like, hey, did you know that that's a, that's a shitty thing? And um, it's interesting to be able to explain that in length. And um, Reddit and YouTube, obviously, are fairly close to me. So I figured I could offer some commentary on that. Um, so this was an interesting video. I should not do this much damage to my throat on a Monday evening. But uh, I guess I was in a good and highly political mood, so <laughs> let's let's see what happens. I guess I gotta edit and post this up. Well, if you like that, let me know with a like and a comment, and uh, subscribe for more stuff. I don't necessarily know if I will do more political videos in the immediate future, but uh, if this gets a good response, I will definitely take that into account. Um, whenever a video does particularly well, I try to obviously take that into account and see what people like. Um, maybe people won't like it and I won't bother because this was a long video, but, uh, yeah. That was, that was definitely fun to kind of get that out there.